I threw a brick in the air. What type of brick? See, it shouldn't matter. Because a brick is just a brick. Word. All right. So uh, I don't have any editing software, so we're just we're just going straight on this, okay? We're just we're just gonna gonna go right down the line, and so anything I mess up is gonna stay here. One, because I'm lazy, and two, because I don't have any editing software. Now I'm gonna tell you two things that are absolutely true. One, right now that is on top of a bookshelf. Two, right now my back itches so bad. All right. Three, and I sprayed myself with cologne before this for no reason at all. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into the what this video is about. Now, you see, today is Tuesday, January, I don't know, and I'm not going to check, but it's the Tuesday in which Gone Girl came out on Blue Rizzle, and I already, already opened, up, opened it up, and... Uh, and what I wanted to say before I get into the actual thing is that this easily is in my top 10 movies of 2014 and it might even crack my top 5. I don't know yet because I haven't actually put thought into it. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt or a grain of sugar. Sugar is good. Alright, so, you only have one special feature on here. It's a director's commentary and uh, this little back thing comes off. It's got stuff on it. And then you got you got the back, front, bat fleck. And then on the inside you got, got your amazing Amy. Tattletale. It's an actual book. I don't know if you can see that, but ta-da! And on the inside, is it what the that is actually empty. On the inside of this, we got a uh, we got our digital copy. I don't know if you want that. I don't know if that actually focused. All right, because I don't actually use those. And then on the inside, you just got you just got your plain old fogginess, clouds, bat fleck, disc. And there's no there's no artwork on the inside, and yeah that that's it for that. So um, I already already watched it. Uh, the audio quality is impeccable. I mean I don't think I've ever heard such great audio on a Blu-ray, which is something I I think every time I see a Blu-ray because it's fresh in your mind and whatnot. The picture quality is great. It's Blu-ray. I mean, everything about that's great. The movie, it 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 loses a little the second time you see it, but you see you find more things that you didn't see the first time. So if you have already seen it in theaters, then I would recommend picking it up on Redbox or something, and doing so on Blu-ray because it just looks so great. I'm gonna hold this back up because it makes me feel good. Word. Hold on. I want to see if I can actually do this. Hold on. Hold on. Nope, can't do it. Not one bit. All right, we're good. Um, so that's gonna be that's gonna be all for this video. I hope. I don't know what you're supposed to walk away with. Maybe that you're supposed to. I don't know. But uh, I hope you at least were informed on absolutely nothing. Uh, so. That's gonna that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, see you next time and booty shaking in the club.